Grenada, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Dominica, Jamaica, St. Martin, and Belize were all part of a historic gathering of health policy makers right here in St. Lucia. The Caribbean flagship Regional Knowledge Exchange Conference also hosted health policy makers from the Republic of Korea, Colombia, Canada, Spain, Guatemala, and the World Bank. Director of Universal Health Coverage in St. Lucia, Dr. Alicia Eugene Ford, indicates that the three-day knowledge exchange has a number of focuses, one of which is accelerating progress toward universal health coverage. We just had our opening ceremony, and as you could well see, persons who actually viewed it online or was viewed it on YouTube, on Facebook, they realized that we had international speakers as well as persons locally um, being able to give a remark on UHC and what we want in UHC. We also had the opportunity to show some of our cultural events. Main speakers for the opening ceremony included St. Lucia's Minister for Health, Wellness and LLA Affairs, Honorable Moses Jabatis. The Health Minister highlighted financing as one of the common challenges ahead of UHC's implementation. His hope is that St. Lucia's continued efforts, along with the knowledge exchange, will assist with UHC's installation. Universal health care coverage is a long-term policy engagement. It requires political action together with technical knowledge. Therefore, we are committed. We are committed to the investments and to put money where our mouth, collective mouths can be found. We are committed as a government to invest in the administrative capabilities, to develop solid institutional foundations, and to offer responsive governance. The impact on the world's health sector during the COVID-19 period was reflected during this knowledge exchange event, as it still dwells regularly in health conversations. The Caribbean's struggles with non-communicable diseases also formed part of the discussion, along with information and communication technology systems. Dr. Ford says wholesome presentations and healthy discourse was held on various topics. The three-day session included site visits to the Ancillary Wellness Center and OKEUH. The Caribbean flagship Regional Knowledge Exchange Conference held its opening ceremony on Tuesday, October 25th at the Finance Administration Center. The session was funded through a historic partnership between the Korea World Bank Partnership Facility and the World Bank. Reporting for the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I am Sant Justin.